everyone welcome back again to online NPTEL course on structure form and architecture the synergy. In this lecture, lecture number 30 we will be discussing on pneumatic structure. Previously in lecture number 29 and uh, you know few lectures before that we have discussed the structure of special in nature and with different uh, application for you know covering large span and also you know reduce the date load and all. So, pneumatic structure is in the same category, again uh, it will solve the purpose of covering large span with minimum weight, but there are some few disadvantages as well. So, we will discuss in this uh, presentation, it has a relation with the previous one uh, like where we discussed about uh, membrane structure. So, in one of the form that uh, we discussed that inflatable that is uh, the structural form being created just to uh, with the uh, air pressure and that is one of the starting point of this pneumatic structure. So, let uh, us start this particular lecture and go through the different example to understand the structural application in a better way. Uh, now, before I read out anything from the slide, so uh, let us see this particular uh, boat. Okay, so, we all are familiar with this some of us having the experience of using it or maybe we have seen somewhere in some documentary, some video, some movies. So, this is something where it is very uh, you know uh, thin material and when we put air into it due to that air pressure it creates a volume and uh, it can float and it is so light. So, that it is stable as well. So, the live boat, the live boat or maybe the live ring whatever we see this is having the similar principle. We do not need to go that far even uh, we all are familiar with the balloons during the birthday celebration or during any celebration we have seen it is basically a very thin membrane rubber material and when you uh, put air. So, it will get the volume and it will give a shape of uh, like the way you desire like sometimes you can create the customized shape of a heart shape or maybe something a tubular shape or maybe just a, um, a spherical shape or sometimes it may be egg shape. So, that is one of the example of the pneumatic structure. So, it is uh, actually the structure that thin membrane uh, enclosed membrane that is filled with air and give the form and that also the stability. So, due to the balance between the interior and exterior pressure difference the form is in existence. The moment you release the pressure it will be uh, deflatable and uh, deflated and then it will be just thin membrane nothing else. So, here pneumatic structure are flexible membranes that I already mentioned that derive their stability from air pressure. So, two things one is thin membrane and then the air. So, if we combine the in a perfect combination then we will get the uh, you know the stability the form. In pneumatic construction pressure difference between enclosed environment that means the interior space and the exterior are responsible for giving the shape. So, this is uh, the main fundamental of pneumatic structure. In this case uh, most of the cases the synclastic curvature means the doubly curved curvature uh, being used where the curvature is in the same direction that we have discussed in detail uh, in the previous lecture like for the dome and other thing uh, the curvature like doubly if it is doubly curved curvature, but they are in the similar direction same direction rather. So, these are synclastic, but anticlastic curvature being also being created, but for that the purpose uh, is something different, the system, the methodology uh, will be different. So, we will try to cover that uh, as well. Uh, the membrane's minimal weight and small size when deflated, first of all weight is minimal because thin membrane you can uh, see that the volume that being created that can be carried by one person okay, when deflated and you can fold it and you can put it in a bag a small size bag. So, this is the advantage of this 
and when deflated it can be easily uh, manipulate like you can give a any enclosed form or something to carry and the transport. So, this is one of the advantage that we discussed at the very beginning of this presentation. So, before we go and discuss in point of the architectural buildings that uh, or maybe any structure that use this. So, this is I think uh, very familiar to all of us. Maybe some of you have experienced it or maybe you just watch the kids playing over it. So, this is something which is very common in the fairground where the kids they are jumping over it. But what structure it is? It is a very perfect example of pneumatic structures where uh, these are perfectly stitched those color membrane and cloth and the air through a air pump the air is inserted to this and it uh, making a balance between interior and exterior uh, air pressure. So, that it is giving a particular shape and uh, as because it is placed in a coarse form. So, there will be no such uh, you know um, tolerance or something like a turbulence to this structure due to the heavy wind and also people will jump and that is because it is for the kids. So, uh, if you could eliminate say 10, 20 kids, so their weight is uh, not that great so that it can easily uh, hold the load. Uh, so, this is one example of the pneumatic structure. So, from one particular part, it is a control pressure that we have to provide. So, it may be a continuous one or it may be just filled once and then uh, if we can have a, a leakage proof material, so then we do not need to do it. Okay. Sometimes uh, in the CTU we see that uh, some weak size balloon. Okay that is uh, flying over that and it is showing some ad of some company or something. So, again it is the structure the spherical volume or sometimes even not uh, the balloon shape it may be of a plane shape. Okay. So, it plane shape uh, something is floating on the sky to give a ad. So, these are example of the pneumatic structure where the due to air we can get it. Even uh, not only this uh, made of cloth or maybe made of this plastic made of rubber material. So, let us take another example it will be more clear and then uh, we can understand in a better way that I was talking about this particular safety ring uh, for the emergency purpose uh, we can use it. So, this is again a structure where the air uh, is injected to that. Then this is something where it is nicely depicting what I wanted to say that when it is deflated position it is nothing by a small like very thin member very lightweight, but when you put air to it it is giving you the volume that you require, but if you release it it will uh, automatically uh, be in its original position. But during this the deformation like here in this case of balloon we have seen that many a cases like we uh, blow up a balloon and we put it for 10 days or something and then automatically it is coming back to this shape even it is closed because there is a very slow leakage through the surface and there will be permanent deformation. But whenever you apply it uh, with a good membrane uh, or you know, having good strength, so probably this will not occur you can reuse uh, that material in many places. So, for any um, you know temporary fair uh, shop or something that you want to give any display area. So, we can take help of this kind of structure where air will be used as the main structural uh, you know support to give and create the form. Now, here this is nowadays very uh, popular and even in television even in all uh, you know in different YouTube videos even in your e websites ok e-commerce websites you will get that this kind of um, multi-purpose furnitures which is just made, made with some membrane and with the air uh, uh, you know inserted to this structure will give you uh, the form of a sofa or the bed. So, this is something very important and when you just remove it you can fold it and you can put it in a very concise or small area which is very much effective. So, optimal use of this uh, um, you know uh, structural membrane or what the membrane structure with the air and all is very useful nowadays. Now, coming to the general characteristics looking at this example that these are very common 
I do not uh, really think to uh, you know uh, you get surprised to know something about that. So, light uh, weight definitely it is uh, very light weight material because of the thin membrane and all. The safety uh, point is uh, another important issue and now it uh, will have uh, two kind of answer to it. So, when it is a small scale very close form application, so it is safe. Uh, because it is just uh, uh, put with the air. So, there will be not much dead load. So, collapsing of this structure will not really affect much. But again the safe uh, when uh, it is being applied in the open area and there is a heavy wind flow. So, then if uh, the air is not properly maintained or counter the additional force uh, that sudden load applied to that structure uh, that may cause some damage. Uh, and that will not be very comfortable because the interior fixture and all that, that will have some deformation. The quick erection and dismelting is definitely the case. So, uh, in case of the sofa you perhaps if you have not then you just go through the video of this inflatable sofa or bed you get that this is a very small like uh, material folded material and there is a point that you just you know about the electric air pump and then it will just you know inflate and then they will create the volume. So, slowly slowly it will give the form. So, it is very quickly can erect even that example I have given for the uh, you know this particular uh, um, facility for the kids there also it is to be done. So, we do not need to transport the exact structure from one fairground to the other. We can just uh, remove the air and we can fold and we can easily transport. Now, coming to the economy as because it is having very less uh, you know uh, number of support or very you know strong support. So, it is economical obviously. So, what you need? You need some anchor to hold it to ground it so that it will not uh, blow away with the air or something. Good natural lighting if we use some translucent material like the membrane in membrane structure we have discussed the translucency is one of the criteria to select the membrane. So, here it is true for this case as well because it is also the membrane the only difference there we have uh, given support with the mast and the tensile cable, but here it is only the air. So, it is having the good natural lighting. The human health, uh, this is a important case because for uh, maintaining the shape you have to give constant air supply to this. So, there will be some uh, pressure difference and um, who are inside uh, to this structure, they should also be getting adjusted with the pressure of pressure difference from inside and outside. So, we cannot really increase the pressure so much or you cannot make a vacuum. So, that it will get uh, it will put some effects on the human health. So, that uh, you need to take care when you apply this kind of structure for any purpose. Normally, this kind of structure being uh, made for like convocation hall or maybe sometimes for exhibition hall or maybe small uh, uh, kind of you know uh, some interesting uh, public places that I will show you some of the pictures of that kind. Now, coming to the components what exactly uh, the components are the typical components of a, a pneumatic structure is one is envelope is nothing but uh, the membrane that uh, we discussed earlier the cable system that will anchor everything. Uh, to that the pumping equipment because the air is the source of making the structure stable. So, the pumping equipment then entrance we can create a balloon, but the main problem we cannot go inside it. Okay, so, uh, in order to do that we have to have an entrance and that should be air locked. So, that should not release uh, uh, your uh, you know the pressure. So, that we need to take care of that and constant monitoring on pumping and overall pressure difference from outside inside to be maintained and the foundation. In order to make the stability, so foundation is also required where like the end point uh, may be through cable it is uh, attached to a particular uh, post or it may be with uh, some foundation uh, initial foundation on main piers we can just add on. Coming to the materials uh, that can be used for the envelope, 
is the membrane material. So, again it can go with the fiberglass, PVC fiberglass, the polyester, then uh, ethylene or tetrafluorethylene that where we have discussed about PTFE or maybe ETFE line long. So, this kind of material which will have enough strain to carry and having good uh, you know uh, strain to weight ratio that uh, can give some advantage for this and for the anchor system we can use the steel cable just to you know hold it. So, we just uh, hold it from a point and we just make a tie at the gate or you can use the ballast. So, where this can be supported with a temporary arrangement of a you know a few bags of cement or maybe it is a permanent uh, post uh, uh, or maybe a very solid post being just erected there and getting connected with this structure. Move forward the basic typology of pneumatic structure we have two kind one is your air supported which is normally also low pressure and other is your air inflated. So, we will discuss one after another. So, low pressure means where normally before I go. So, we create with a single layer of the membrane and we put air and we get this volume. Right. In this case, the low pressure to be maintained, the pressure inside is slightly more okay, from outside. So, if it is P exterior and this is P interior, so P interior is slightly more than P exterior and that is why it is holding the shape. But as because that will be habitable. So, we have to also take into consideration the you know pressure that one human can hold and that to be calculated. Now, where the air inflated is not a single layer, it basically the two layer of uh, the surface okay, the membrane and air is not injected uh, directly to the shape, okay, it is injected in the medium. So, between two layers the air uh, is inserted. In this, it is basically very high pressure. So, if we consider this is as your P i within the system and P e, so then P i is much, 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 much greater than your P e. And there is no effect on the human who are uh, inside to this because it is within that. So, that this is giving better stability. So, for that kind of inflated, we cannot have a continuous uh, two layer. So, in order to give rigidity what we can do if I just want to draw a barrel uh, vault like this. So, instead of a continuous one, we have the segment. So, individually we just you know put the air and then uh, we get this facility like this. So, this is making a cushion kind of thing in between if I make a cross section. So, basically it will be something like this. So, a series of that is connecting each other is creating this particular air inflated or high pressure pneumatic structure. Now, coming to the air supported uh, whatever we discussed let us just uh, go through this. It is single fabric layer enclosing a space in form of domes or similar shape. So, it can be of dome it is very easy or else we can also go for a barrel. So, where like it is not the dome we have and at the end we have a closed form and then the entrance to be made. The fabric is supported by inside air pressure obviously, the low air pressure makes air supported structure more vulnerable to the flutter or under wind load. That is because the interior load uh, the air pressure is slightly more than the outer. So, if anything implied heavy wind blow and all. So, this will not really help. So, it cannot take the hold of uh, the volume. So, it will take different shape like this which is vulnerable. So, the in that case compared to that as because it is high pressure. So, it can hold it in a better way. Since uh, the usable space is under air pressure door openings must have the air tight uh, um, air locks to prevent any leakage. Air supported structure require continuous air supply usually with standby electric power generator to you know uh, run the fan continuously. So, that air is maintained because whatever the air loss 
from the opening the door or uh, and that is why here we use the revolving door. So, that can be maintained. So, this is the example where you can see that how uh, this is the entrance and this is the support grounded and this is a single layer uh, balloon kind of structure and this being made. So, here this is uh, something that I have picked up from the internet this is very easily a very popular image that you can get and the source is given. So, you can get more information about that. Uh, so, in this case you see that uh, the structure the whatever the road or maybe the rain road. So, they can easily be drained off uh, because of the uh, syn plastic curvature and the interior pressure is holding the overall shape and the wind load which is lateral which is really vulnerable if we have a uh, very little uh, pressure difference and at the bottom it will have the tension. So, uh, like it the all sail structure at the bottom we get this tension uh, force or tensile strength as uh, the structural phenomena. So, it is uh, not uh, really different from that uh, it is also having the tension. Coming to the next category that is the air inflated pneumatic structure. So, it is hermetically means the air tight. So, this is the property of the air tightness enclosed volume that are inflated under high pressure much like a football or uh, to provide stability. So, it is enclosed. So, for football like uh, this is a particular cell and we put it. So, it may be any such uh, you know balloons like structure. So, there are different cartoon characters now it is label, uh, available. So, you have to blow and then there is a, a particular you know uh, point. So, where you can uh, enclose it and you can lock the air and it can give you the shape. So, it is available like in uh, terms of different cartoon character, different uh, playing instrument and many. So, uh, that is one. Then the tubular or cousin form being created uh, in this uh, case and high pressure is maintained. So, it is basically uh, something like this. So, before we uh, go further let us show you this example you are familiar with uh, this facility as well. So, this is something I have picked up. So, uh, these are the uh, you know plastic okay, uh, air pocket. Uh, here I have just uh, removed the air. So, it is very thin I can fold it right. Uh, so, these are available when you order something from online. So, you can get this uh, particular packaging. So, this is with very small space I can just hold it ok it is nothing. But at the same time when I inject here when I have not released the air. So, it is giving a volume. So, you can see the volume and it can easily carry the load. So, this is very flat, but you can have similar structure uh, where you can give some bend and all. So, only with the air it is giving some cushion uh, which will uh, really give the shape will hold the particular shape. So, the difference between these two they are of the same material, uh, but only difference is here it is I have removed the air and here uh, air is uh, within this uh, particular plastic which is uh, giving this cushion. So, this is one example of this your uh, air inflated pneumatic structure. So, where it is kept locked between two layers ok. And now, uh, without air pressure they would have no stability that uh, already I have explained with this where I can uh, just crash it like this. The air inflated structure also requires some continuous air supply uh, to maintain the stability it is same like uh, um, during uh, that particular process you know uh, there will be slow leakages. So, in order to maintain that we have to put the air not maybe regularly even like I can give you the example of this uh, the cycle tube. So, when you pump uh, it like if your tire uh, the tube is uh, very new. So, maybe it can run for another 2, 3 weeks or maybe 1 month, but at the same time uh, slowly slowly even we do not use it we put it somewhere in the sun and all there will be slow leakages. So, then again we have to fill that with the air. So, this is a similar thing, but with the membrane not with the uh, rubber material or the tire that I just mentioned. So, this is one example the difference between that you can get this different cushion and 
uh, this example you can get if you have uh, used some cartis, laser printer cartis and all. So, that is inserted within some you know padded uh, or something like you get a packet where uh, the outside you get this kind of uh, air inflated structure. So, that it will give the proper cushion to the uh, cartis so that there will be nothing no damage during the transport and all. So, in this case uh, if you see that uh, the only difference uh, we get that two layers are there and then the air is in between and they are balancing each other to this and here we can get the high pressure compared to the other uh, the exterior uh, the outside pressure and there will be no such impact on the human uh, related thing. The earlier as because there was a single layer, so that was the problem with the additional layer injection or the creating the vacuum and all. So, it is basically the putting more air into it not the vacuum, vacuum will squeeze this down. So, when you want to dismantle you have to uh, do that uh, to get the what the vacuum can work to remove the air from that. Now, let us have a quick taste on uh, what we understand from this air inflated and uh, then air supported. So, here are some pictures that is randomly placed uh, and a number is uh, aligned uh, uh, you know given to that 1 to 8 and let us understand what are those like which category they are. They uh, the here the choices are only 2 one is your air supported and one is air inflated. So, uh, just uh, have a look into this and just try to uh, give an answer ok and maybe spend another uh, few seconds to it and then I will show you uh, the answers and you match how much correct you are and to know what exactly it is. You got your answer ok. So, now let us uh, just check uh, how much correct you are. I think most of you are 100 percent correct. So, let us understand this. So, number 1 is called air supported dome and vault why we should understand why we should not believe on the text that is written. So, as because this is single layer and filled with the air. So, it is in the first category. So, air supported dome and vault the second is uh, is another one, but here it is the vault structure because this is something where we do not understand was exactly the volume. It the cross section. So, it may be something which is evolved and get a form of a dome or may be extended that is a, you know vault. So, this is one the second was is strictly a very simple layer a single layer is there. So, we are supported. So, I think you both of the answers got correct. Now, coming to the three number one. So, here it is something where is supported vault with support cables. So, what exactly like when you have a large structure ok and made of the three members. So, it may sway and to give the some support it is not two layers, but we just tie it up with some cable. So, we fix it so that it will maintain the shape. So, it is very useful uh, tool that with the cable or rope we give this particular additional uh, stability so that it will not sway or it will not deform much uh, due to the wind. So, this is again the air supported vault with the support and then this is similar the fourth one is the multiple dome of that uh, again it is air supported. Now, coming to the 5 it is very clean and crystal if you uh, take this example it is similar to that if I hold it. So, it is giving the same shape and air is inserted air is locked between two layers. So, it is air inflated structure cushion and then similarly when you just make multiple. So, I just make multiple of such and make a form and they are actually connected to each other. So, we will get the form of this uh, number 6 this is basically your inflated vault and we can go with the number uh, 7 where it is not in a vault direction, but in a concentric uh, ring and we it is forming a dome of air inflated and here it is a multiple dome where the two layers being done. So, there is uh, additional support in this case the entire thing to be given. So, uh, it is very interesting to compare the 4 and four, uh, 8. So, the top is same, but here it is a single layer. So, it is giving the volume of the wall as well as this the base and here it is just the support. 
Coming to the example of this, so this is uh, one example of that inflatable tea house where uh, the membrane is being made like this. Here it is the Eden project, uh, basically this is made for a greenhouse for the botanical garden purpose. Here Yorkshire Diamond Pavilion, again these members they are actually uh, you know filled with the air. So, in this case this example is for the air inflated. So, these members they are full with the air to give this form of this structure. Now, coming to the Fuji Pavilion uh, and that too in 1970. So, this is something where again it is air inflated structure that club together uh, and create this beautiful uh, pavilion the exhibition space. Similarly, the US, US pavilion in Osaka in 1970 the same category here it is the similar thing where the membrane being created and then uh, for additional support that being created with the support uh, frame. Coming to the application of this, so for the spores and recreational centers, exhibition, convention center, greenhouse, whatever the examples we have seen. Uh, maybe uh, for any other uh, demonstration also we can get this kind of uh, you know help. Now, coming to uh, the advantage of that again it is light in weight similar to the membrane structure good for large span without internal support it is true for all the spatial structure here. Rapid assemble and disassemble is definitely you inject the air and you remove the air that is all low initial and operating cost as because of like uh, hardly any such heavy materials being used there, easy to transport when deflated is similar uh, with uh, the example I have seen that uh, suppose this is the structure if I want to put it in my pocket maybe it will take much time, but I just deflat it the same material and I can hold it I can put it in my pocket. So, this is very simple example you can just enlarge the scale and you can get uh, that the statement is very correct that we can easily transport when the overall system is deflated. Coming to the disadvantages, yes uh, it needs continuous maintenance and excess pressure to maintain, especially for the air supported where you have to maintain the pressure in a controlled manner so that there will be no adverse effect on the human body who are really uh, uh, you know enjoying the interior space. Continuous fan operation is required to maintain the pressure, so a backup should be there it should not be something like only it is supported based on the electricity uh, supply. So, then uh, that may create some problem. Insulation is poor because of the thin member definitely this has some uh, resistance poor resistance to the thermal thing or something, but yes definitely if we go for some good material that this uh, you know poly tetrafluoroethylene or some coated material that can be taken into an in greater extent that can ease off some of the problems. Service life is relatively short because each time you inject air and then remove. So, it will not have a lifespan of a concrete frame structure or many cell structure, but yes for portable thing this is very useful and the probable application that may we think for uh, like uh, the rehabilitation center where for the we have to locate many people uh, to make uh, and we have to erect it very quickly. So, we can transport this kind of material and we can create a state. So, that uh, uh, the people from the disaster area can be easily rehabilitated in that place. So, this is the advantage of this pneumatic structure and can be applied. So, with uh, some of the disadvantage and advantage we should take a call what is our purpose and accordingly we take a decision on which kind of structure to be adopted and the form. So, this is end of this particular lecture. Uh, so, in the summary is uh, uh, basically everything is explained. Uh, so, basic two type is your air supported and then your air inflated. So, air supported is basically a single layer, air is inject and with the internal pressure it is holding the every load and where it air inflated. So, two layers the air is actually uh, locked in between two layers and a very high pressure is maintained to create the shape and remaining the membrane characteristics is similar to that 
uh, is the application and application is uh, already I've discussed in different exhibition hall, pavilion and this is the case and very light material, easy to transport, easy to assemble and disassemble, these are the advantages. With this I conclude here, this is the reading materials, again you can go through the web links given uh, for the you know relevance uh, slides, so that you know more about this subject and get better idea, better examples. I have given some examples, you can also uh, add more example, you can give me that feedback, you can put it in the forum. So, we will discuss over it. With that, uh, we will move forward uh, in the next lecture is basically lecture number 31 that talks about structure and architecture form in windy areas. So, now we will move uh, through a specialized design for uh, different kind of environment windy or earthquake prone or flood time to time um, and we will uh, we'll discuss more on this lecture till then. I uh, really thank you to take part in the course and uh, we will be meeting in the next lecture, thank you.